Aloha friends, so today I will be repotting two tropical plants that I currently have. So this one is a one quart uh, anthurium foliage plant. I love this one. So I have a red one currently inside the house and I've had that one for about almost a year and a half with, um, with flowers. It's constant flowers all throughout the year and I live over here in Seattle Pacific Northwest over in the United States so it does get uh, pretty cold during the winter and so it has with um, withstand my winter uh, days even though it is inside the house I don't have central heat so there are times that it gets really really cold and um, this plant has survived so this is one of my most favorite indoor plants to have here into the Pacific Northwest because I feel like it just it's just so easy to take care of so this one I opt to choose to get the the pink color because as you guys can see the flowers are just super shiny and it's just absolutely beautiful the other tropical plant i have is a monstera plant okay and i've got this one it's a pretty good size but i feel that um, i want to repot it because i don't know how the quality of the roots are um, with this one along with that one so i always like to repot my plants because one the soil that they are currently on i don't feel that it withstands the um, time to be able to just keep it in in its original soil so I always take it out examine the root ball and see uh, how healthy or how unhealthy it is and then from there with the, my tropical plants I do like to have a mixture of soil for them um, I have this one which is the organic uh, planting soil um, this one, I it's my go-to soil. It's the one from Costco. It really works really well for me. As you guys can see with this soil, it's just um, feels like there's a lot of nutrients in there. And then because it's a tropical plant, I will be using um, some peat moss mixed into there. The peat moss just adds um, air into the soil so the plant is able to breathe and not um not be able to like soak it in water when you're watering it so then the water just kind of flows easily from uh the roots and then the drainage so with the any of my tropical plants i do like to use a little bit of this orchid potting mix i also use this onto my orchids as is and then also in here i do sometimes break up some charcoal but not with this particular one i'm just going to use the orchid mix itself Add that in there for just extra drainage these are like orchid barks that you use for your orchid plants by using the by adding the orchid potting mix onto these two the peat moss and then the potty organic potting soil it just creates a better uh, drainage for the plant when you're when you're watering it All right, as you guys can see I've removed most of the soil it does still have some clumps into the center but i feel like when i'm overworking it it's um i feel like when i'm overworking it it's um kind of destroying the roots a little bit and i don't want to do that so i'm just cleaning it off as best as i can without overdoing it i'm just using my fingertips and kind of just shaking it a little bit And then I keep turning it to the side and just keep getting the insides as well. Okay, and then I'll go show you guys how I do my, my potting mixture. Okay, so that's pretty clean, I feel like. So now I have a new plant that's pretty healthy. It's going to be healthy. I'm going to go ahead and remove like these leaves and then just pull them out. That one and then the yellow one so that they can just have like some fresh um, start where there's no leaves in there that's just kind of like the yellow okay this is when you can also divide it because this one is just too clumped together all right so if you wanted to propagate your um, your monstera the best time to do it is um, like around springtime so we are just now getting into summer it's currently May over here in the Pacific Northwest but our heat is not um, 
it's not into like the super hot heat heat of summertime so i feel like it, i'm okay and like i said i just purchased this about a week ago but the um the most common way to propagate a monstera is by stem cuttings okay so with the stem cuttings this is also called like a swiss cheese plant so steam um, stem cuttings are easy um are easy to root so so with the stem cuttings, you can put them into soil, like how this one is planted, or you can actually put them directly onto water. And um, it's, it's one of these uh, uh, Monstera or Swiss, uh, Swiss cheese plant is easy to, um, to create roots for you to be able to replant or just keep it in water. Monstera is one of the plants that you can actually just uh, able to keep onto water itself or put it onto uh, soil. I don't feel like um, I need to do any cuttings right now. Um, it is a bit of uh, clumpy, but I kind of like that effect. So then later on, these ones will grow and then I can create some cuttings uh, in there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do my mix. So for this one, I went ahead and added like um, peat moss. And so as you guys can see, look at the peat moss. It just, it'll create a lot of good um, air onto the plant along with the potting mix. And then with the orchid, I will add some in there. Now this is for the two plants that I currently have. So it makes a lot of mess. So it's nice to work outside. Okay. And then I'll just mix that in. I also have charcoal in here for my orchid. Take that one out. So I'm basically doing like a 50-50 of the peat moss and then the potting mix. And then maybe about 20% of the orchid. So I have enough here for the two plants. Mix that on together all the way to the bottom. Now when I choose to, um, the type of planters that I choose are always, I prefer plastic, to be honest, compared to ceramic and um, the clay pots. I feel that the clay pots is just, it dries up the plant faster. And then the plastics, you can easily just repot it by loosening it. With the clay pots, it's kind of hard to repot. Okay, I feel like this is a good mixture, if you guys can see. Okay, and then let's go start potting. Okay, this is the pot I'm choosing compared to the original pot. It's just a little bit bigger. And so it has, when I bought it at the store, it has one drainage hole. And then I just put uh, four extra drainage holes in there just to add more drainage. Okay, and then I'm going to put some of the mixture and then I'm gonna get my monstera and then I'm just gonna take a look and see how far down that one's still too deep it might be just a little bit too big add more like that's perfect and then what I'm gonna do is just fill it up with soil okay actually the one that I made is just perfect for this one and then you just make sure to work it creating like like just shaking it off, making sure that it's even. Shake it and then pat. All right, friends. 
here you go and then what I like to do also I like to oh hold on um, whenever I replant is I like to use this one this is the organic biotone starter um, it has all the nutrients in there for the new plants so all I do is just get for this size of plant I just get a little handful and then I put it right where I'm going to to water you could definitely put this in there when you were repotting but I like to put it on the top so that when I'm first watering it it's just gonna seep evenly into the root of the plant sometimes when you add it directly to the root it kind of shocks the plant but I love this starter kit this works really good for me on all my plants okay perfect all right, so this one I repotted this one which is the is it the anthurium uh, foliage into a clay pot I would not normally pot in a clay pot but because of my indoor plants I have all of them into a clay pot except for the monstera that I just did the monster is going to get bigger. This one, it actually stays into like this this size. Um, my other one, I've had it for, like I said, a year and a half. And it doesn't really get too big. So I feel like it's safe with this clay pot. And also with the clay pot, I'm going to clean it when I get... Because I washed it and then I put the dirt so it actually looks dirty. But from the size of the original container to this one, it's almost twice as big. So I feel like it's okay. It's not going to... Um, be root bound into this particular clay pot okay and again also with this one I do like to use the starter kit I'm gonna just sprinkle that like I said I don't like to put it directly onto the root sometimes it just shocks the it shocks the plant and I'm just using a little like sprinkling onto my as you guys can tell, it's not that much. Okay. And this one is ready as well. They're all done. I went ahead and repotted them. And then I have my host because I am outside. I'm just going to put it into a mist and just mist it. You want just a little bit of water in there, but not too much because uh, it does need that water in there because I just repotted, but misting is going to be perfect. Okay. All right, friends. Thank you guys for stopping by. Mahalo.